Today we're gonna create something completely magical. Hey there, my name is Ali. You can find me on Instagram at the link in front of you. Today we're creating this magical photo by using these three photos which are available in the description below. Let's get started. First, I'm going to create a new document. I will go 4000 by 4500. Okay, that's our canvas. I'm going to drag our first photo. Put it there. Make sure I'll by pressing Ctrl and T to resize it. I'll make sure it's fitting the canvas. And then I'll place it where I want. And I'll press OK. I'll use the crop tool and press click to see where the my thirds are. This is my the line of my thirds. I want it to be in here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move tool and just pull it up to that point. Okay. If we check here, uh, it still needs a little bit of uh, raising, so I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Now if I check, this is the line where I'm gonna cut. Okay. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I want to add the, the like shooting star thing. So I'm gonna go, drag it, my Photoshop. Okay. I'm gonna resize it by pressing Ctrl and T. Make it something like this, maybe. Then I'm gonna change the blending mood to lighten. This will remove all the blacks and leave only the white areas. I'm gonna make it rasterize layer so I can edit it. I'll use the eraser. And then I'll just erase all these parts which are extra and leave only the trail of light. Okay, that looks good. Okay, maybe I'll change the size a little bit, make it larger. And put it here. Okay, that's looking good. I'll go also to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast, and maybe pump up the contrast a little bit to get rid of the things, the blacks next to it. Now I want to add my model. This is my model. I just like cut it before, so I don't waste time. Okay, I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna press Ctrl and T, right click, flip horizontal. Because I want the photo to be a little bit balanced. I don't want to be to have just the man on the left. Okay, she's a little bit darker than the man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to image, adjustments, curves. And I'm gonna bring the blacks a little bit up. So, okay. So she's equal to the man. Now this is my background layer. I'm done with it. I'm gonna uh, choose the three layers and press right click merge layers. And this is my background or maybe we can call it the upper part. Okay, now I want to color that part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a new layer, hold alt and press click. So it's bound to the layer below of it. And I'll start by a yellow color. I'll go to some yellow color like this. And then by using the brush, I'm going to color and make sure it's not like 100% opacity. I'm going to color this part yellow. Maybe add a little bit yellow here. Now I'm going to go to make it more orange. And then I'm going to color this part orange. So I'm making some sort of a color gradient. Then I'm going to make it like red. And then color that part. Then I'm make it something purple color this part and finally I'll go to a blue make it a little bit dark blue and color like the final part of my image okay it doesn't look good now but we'll change the blending mode to overlay and reduce the opacity a lot so what this did is add a little bit of variation of color instead of only having one color okay now I'm gonna go to curves adjustment layer Make sure it's also bound to what's below of it. I'm going to go to the red channel, add a lot of reds to the highlights, and go to the blue channel, 
add a lot of yellow to my highlights but this is affecting my whole image i want it to be only affecting this part so i'm gonna stand on the curve adjustment layer and press ctrl and i now it made it completely disappear because of the black mask now when i use my brush to paint white anywhere the black mask will be revealed and i'll get the effect that i want so i'm gonna paint here to add the yellow orange that i want Maybe I'll change the color, this will remove, I don't want the tree to be affected, so I'll remove this effect from the tree. Maybe I'll also use the eraser to remove the colors I made from the tree, because the tree looks too colored. Okay, that looks good. Now what I want to do is I'll add uh, a gradient map. There is custom presets or you can make one from your own, but I'll use this one, this custom preset. Okay, it looks horrible of course, but when we make it to overlay, and yeah, make sure it's also clipped to what's below it. Make it to overlay and reduce the opacity, something like... Yeah, don't go too strong with it or it will look bad. Something like this. So now we're gonna make like some before and after. You see how the photo didn't have any colors and now it looks like... So colorful. Okay, now I want to add something. I'll add a layer, hold Alt or Option and press click to make it linked. And I'll go with the brush and use a dark blue color. And I'll color like the edges with it. Then I'll do the same, but maybe a purple color on a new layer. And I'm going to do this Alt and link it below. And I'm gonna also do that. But wait, I'll press Ctrl and Z. I want much darker purple. Yeah, like that. And I'll just draw something like that. These two layers, I'll make sure they are on multiply mode and reduce their opacity a little bit. You see what they did? They added some sort of a vignette around them. Okay, now since I'm done with this, this is my upper part. I'm done with it. I'll delete. A little bit of it I don't want all of this I'll use the rectangle marquee tool on the layer of the upper part and press delete now it's delete what I'm gonna do I want to create the water reflection effect so I'm gonna hold shift and press on all of my layers now they are all selected I'm gonna press ctrl and J what this will do it will duplicate all my layers into new layers now I'm gonna press Ctrl and E, or you can do right click, merge layers. It will merge everything you did into a new layer, okay? Now I'm gonna press Ctrl and T, and flip this one vertically. And move it till it's matching the one above of it. But before of that, I wanna make sure that the tree is exactly in the middle of my canvas. So there is this this, uh, this ruler thing on the left. If you can't find it, you can press Ctrl and R to make it visible. I'm gonna pull it to the middle of my canvas. It uh, automatically snaps to the middle. So this is my middle. But the problem is my tree is not exactly in the middle. So I'm gonna press Shift and click on all of my layers, Ctrl and T, and drag them till they are in the middle a little bit. A little bit of stretch. And press OK. OK, that's good. Now it's exactly in the middle. To get rid of this uh, ruler, just hold it and pull it to the left. And remove. OK. Now this is, I want this to be my layer. It's already a reflection, but it's not, it ha doesn't have a water texture. So what's, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Ctrl and J. It will duplicate it again. And now this one, we're going to go to filter, blur, motion blur. Make a blur with, with a 90 degrees up and down, maybe something like 15, okay. Then again to filter, blur, motion blur, and do the same again, but with a zero degree angle. Okay, then I'm going to do one more thing, which is in the filter, distort, it's called the wave effect. I'm going to add a wave effect to the, you see what it does here? It creates some sort of a wave. But I want my wave to be going only in the horizontal, not the vertical. So I'm going to reduce the vertical to the max. And I'm going to make a little bit of a subtle horizontal effect. You can play along with the amplitude, wavelength, and everything until you get the effect you need. It's like trial and error. Okay. 
let's see what it does it added a little bit of wave to my image okay now we need to do like the final coloring and final grading what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new layer use a gradient make sure it's black or maybe a very dark uh, blue make sure your gradient is uh, the first one and you're using wait a minute the second one here which is gradient to transparent or the foreground to transparent okay now I'm gonna hold shift and pull my gradient from below to up it will create a little bit of gradient I want the water to be a little bit darker of the part above because the water doesn't reflect 100% of the light now I'm gonna do this again like this by holding shift you make sure you're in a straight line and now I'm gonna make it a little bit darker from this side uh, that's too much I'll press ctrl and z make it a little bit darker from that side maybe a little bit darker from this side a little bit darker from top okay that's good and I'm gonna just like reduce the opacity a little bit Okay, that's looking great now. Okay, one last thing maybe I'll add. I'll go to Curves Adjustments. I'll make the highlights a little bit brighter and make it like a lot yellowish. But I don't want this to be affecting my whole photo, so I'm going to press Ctrl and I. And again, I'm going to go to a brush, make sure it's a white brush. And wherever I paint now, the effect will be added. So I'll paint in the middle parts. I want this part to be a lot like yellowish and bright. Just make sure it's white. And paint. You see, if I paint here, it will go. If I paint here with a strong brush, the blue will go more to the yellow. Okay, maybe I'll increase the yellow effect a little bit. You see if I increase it a lot I don't want that I'll increase it a little bit here maybe I'll add some also red no that's not good okay I'll just leave the red okay that's the effect of those finally I'm gonna press ctrl alt and shift hold them then press e it will merge everything into a new layer so I can go to filter camera raw filter and then this filter Maybe I'll increase the clarity a little bit to make the stars pop out. Some contrast maybe. And I'll go to the FX module. Uh, reduce the dehaze. And add a little bit of vignette. Uh, I guess that's it. Maybe I'll reduce the shadows a little bit. No, reduce them by increasing them up. Okay, that looks good. Okay, it's already looking good. Let's see like our before and after. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold Alt and press click on this one to see the before and after. So if you like what I do guys, make sure you subscribe for more and more like amazing stuff. And make sure you check my Instagram account. If you like anything on it, just let me know if you want me to create a tutorial for it. Thank you for being with me. Have a nice day.